Hey everyone, if you have rare US or world coins you want to sell, watch this video till the end and I'll show you where you can post them for sale. How is it going guys? In this episode I'm going to show you my Kennedy of dollars with copper nickel clad and silver content. Coins are in various conditions but mostly display nice preservation and silver or nickel grey reflectivity. So before starting assessment of these half dollars one by one, I'll highly recommend you to subscribe to this channel and hit the like button down below this video. I really appreciate your support. Starting with this 1984 D Kennedy of dollar in lower mint condition, MS60 if not MS61 if graded. This Denver example displays pleasant luster and bold strike, but unfortunately oversight displays numerous distractions, scratch and these large circular gouging going across the lettering liberty. But when we turn it over we witness very nice appealing, with less mentionable contact marks and more reflectivity. The 1984 D Kennedy of Dollar is a tougher date in the clad Kennedy of Dollar series. It is hard to come by even in MS65 condition, in MS66 it becomes more difficult and is considered a scarce coin in this grade. It means the 67 population gets scarcer and guiding price surged to over $1200. Anything above this grade is considered rare. Next, 1971 Kennedy of dollar in circulated, most likely in AU condition, with very pale remnants of luster. The strike is sharp and high points display no wear, yet of worse, features numerous contact marks and some blemishes on this side as well. Main distraction is a large gouge on the face of Silk Kennedy. This is the first year that the Kennedy of dollar was struck in copper nickel clad, as the mint completely removed the silver composition from Kennedy of dollars this year. They start commanding premiums in MS66 and over. MS67 specimens are scarce and are worth around $2500 as for PCGS price guide. Here is 1973 D Kennedy of dollar, also in lower mint condition. This one displays neatly preserved surfaces. Under close inspection, first thing that catches the eye is the dye polish lines on the fields. Surfaces are lustrous and strike is sharp. Mintage of 1973 D half dollars is over 83 million, so finding uncirculated specimens should not be an issue as far as I can tell. However, in mint state 67 and over, they are highly elusive. In MS67 condition, PCJ certified just 3 coins with guiding price of over $1100. Moving on with this bicentennial 50 cent also in mint condition. I'm not that good at grading the coins, but from my experience looking at this luster, clean focal points and pinpoint strike, this specimen could rival with MS64 or 65 specimens. If you don't think so, please type down your version in comment section. Edge reads are well preserved as well, as you can see, this issue has different reverse design to commemorate the centennial of US independence declaration, the independence hall in the center. The centennial half dollars are also valuable in higher grades. MS67 examples are worth over $1700 as for NGC price guide. And the best for the last, my silver clad Kennedy of dollar in about uncirculated condition. For beginning collectors I think it will be proper to explain how to tell difference between clad and silver half dollars. Most coin roll hunters instead of checking all the coins by the weight or the date just inspect their edge. 1964 silver of dollar won't have a copper red stripe like on this Kennedy of dollar. The coins were first released to the public in March 1964 as they quickly became popular among collectors and general public. Due to popularity of the coins, the mint continued to produce it in large quantities throughout 1960s and 1970s. This coin contains 90% silver and 10% copper and in high grades, values are quite dramatic. For instance, this MS68 gem was sold for over $12,500 in 2019 on eBay. Another rare variety you should know about is 1964 half dollars from Special Mint Set. According to Jaime Hernandez from PCGS, they come with high quality finish and the strike is very sharp as it displays very clear details on both on a verse and reverse. 
The coins also contain a smooth satin-like appearance with the rims being very square and sharp. There are die polishing lines throughout the coin surfaces. This SMS half dollar in SP67 plus grade was bargained for over $48,000 at Heritage Auctions. Thanks for watching guys. Your likes and subscriptions are highly appreciated. 